Hi viewers, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to avoid paying VAT on silver in the UK. Mainly for my uh, UK subscribers, but I'm sure a lot of my subscribers from the USA will be interested in listening to what I have to say, because obviously it could be heading your way as well. Um, I mean, obviously you, you in the States you probably are aware that some states do charge sales tax on bullion, and the only way um, you can avoid it is by spending over a thousand dollars, which obviously not everyone has. But I mean, you know, they still have the option of doing a group buy. Say four of you spend two hundred fifty dollars each. Boom, you've got your thousand dollars worth of silver, and none of you have had to pay the um, sales tax. Although uh, it's considerably lower than our twenty percent here in the UK. Anyway, um, before I carry on, I, I will point out that the title of the video says avoid VAT and uh, not evade VAT. The two terms have uh, very different meanings and uh, one of them is legal and the other one not so. Uh, obviously, I, I could have done a video on how to... Uh, evade VAT but that wouldn't be very professional of me would it and I'm sure many of you know how to do that anyway um, <laughs> but anyway so um, buying silver without having to pay the VAT isn't really as difficult as you think because um, the reason uh, silver is uh, vatable is if it's new silver for example just the way you would buy a new Fitbit that has 20% VAT on it because it's a new item so if you're buying this item from the raw mint or from a bullion big bullion dealer then you've got to pay the VAT on it so basically the only way you can avoid VAT is if you buy your silver on the secondary market. Um, basically what that means is that someone else has already purchased this and then sold it on. And this happens more than you think because people overspend or they put it on a credit card and then realize that the card needs to go in the garage and they have to sell their silver quick and um, <laughs> to pay for it so then they sell it on and then it becomes a secondary market item which is how you can still manage to find um, newish or, or new new releases on the secondary market because someone has bought it and had to sell it and um, so, so then you don't have to pay the VAT now so obviously this applies to anything older um, you know, for example, these Austrian Talas, uh, they, they would all be secondary market silver because they're old, and so no VAT on those. Um, and now I used to get these, I did buy these from a local coin shop recently, but I used to get them from him really cheap, but they have gone up a bit, uh, but obviously so has silver. These are Canadian 50% uh, silver coins and you know they are still silver whether it's 50% or not you know these are just seen as a bullion device really uh, so you can you know still get them cheap based on the spot price um, likewise with bars um, you know they are just a bullion device secondary market no VAT, uh, whether one ounce, ten ounce, five ounce, whatever you want. Um, obviously, there's a, a newer one there that uh, you know. The, the trouble is, the newer ones on to find them on the secondary market isn't uh, quite as easy as finding all of these other coins because obviously these have been around for years. Many of these, um, there's the Russian ballerina there. Uh, I can't remember what year that was. 98, 1998. So it's a secondary market piece um, that probably would have a bit of a higher premium on.
but many of these pieces are I bought you know with a low premium for example the French Hercules 50 francs if I remember rightly yeah it was 50 francs because there are smaller ones uh, coins but still seen as a bullion device you know and so you've got French you've got Spanish Cinco pesetas. Uh, the British crowns, which we know are 925. Now again, obviously you can pick up worn examples of these um, pretty cheap as well. I certainly used to pick up loads um, for about 18, yeah, about 18 pound plus, depending on the grade. Um, and oh, of course, the British 50 percenters, the 1937 crowns, another popular coin to collect if you're in the UK. And what else? Oh, Canadian. Yep, Canadian. Let's not forget the Canadian. Again, it's uh, these are seen as a bullion device. This one's still in its original mint packaging, but because it's secondary market, it's. Uh, you know, based on spot price. Uh, newer silver, Scottsdale's. Again, you can find these on the secondary market. No VAT. What else have we got? Obviously, you've got things, um, you know, constitutional silver like Morgan dollars and peace dollars, etc. And what's this? Oh, yeah, the lovely uh, Dutch proof. Now, I remember picking this up at my LCS. You know, this is a proof coin, but uh, it was literally, you know, sold to me at um, bullion price just by its weight and purity. Uh, along with this one, a New Zealand Parliament House, if I remember, is it Parliament House? I can't remember now. But again, these were obviously struck as commemorative proof coins originally, but uh, now you know as time gone as time has gone by, uh, they're just sold as a as a bullion item. Along with, for example, many of these sets. There's a Republic of Panama set there. You know, with all the COA. You know, you've got. Uh, Three silvers in there, the big bell bower in the middle, and literally I bought this for the weight of the three silver coins in it. So yeah, you know, I could literally cut them out and sell them uh, just for the silver uh, because I, the, I, the others I didn't pay for. I just paid for the silver. Um, likewise, another set. I've got many of these sets, by the way. Uh, the first coinage of Papua New Guinea, and I think this one, I can't remember, I don't think that one was silver, I think this one just had two silvers in it, if I remember right, it might be that one as well, but again, bought for the weight of the, uh, the silvers in the set. Uh, and obviously I have seen a lot of eBay sellers, they just cut these out and sell the silvers, because obviously it's much cheaper to... Um, for postage rather than sending a whole great heavy box with all the other coins is they just cut the silvers out and send, sell the silvers what else uh, have I got there oh obviously you know you can still get things fairly newish like koalas obviously a wombat both from the Perth Mint uh, vintage 1982 Prospector, the Golden State Mint, and obviously you've got your Mexican coinage, so that's obviously the Olympics. And these again, these come up on the secondary market, not quite as often as uh, many of the others, but uh, the Isle of Man Angels. So, you know, again, you can still get those without VAT. So basically the video is about, you know, broadening your horizons uh, rather than just the, uh, 
the latest release from the Royal Mint, um, it's all silver. It's all silver, whether it has the latest Robin Hood on it or um, whatever that victory through harmony. Um, there's another Mexican down there. Yeah, again, bought for its weight in silver. So, you know, you can still um, buy silver. You just have to uh, kind of expand your mind a bit because, uh, you know, the newer, newer releases are not so readily available on the secondary market. But there is still masses and masses of silver available out there. You know close to spot I mean obviously you're not you're not gonna get a Libertad close to spot I shouldn't think but uh, on the secondary market they seem to be doing really well at the moment but uh, you know many of the others are so um, so basically you know the video is just about uh, expand your mind and uh, obviously when you are buying on the secondary market you know do uh, do check your silver with a CCT slide. Oh, let's check the Morgan. And um, whereas you don't have to worry about that so much buying from a big dealer. I mean, obviously the big dealers are not going to like this video, but do I care? No, I've made plenty of controversial videos in the past. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, broaden your horizons you will still find this stuff without paying the VAT uh, unless you are a collector you know if you're a collector well you know then you, you you've just got to suck it up and um, you know and hope that silver goes up by that 20% to uh, cover the cost of the VAT whereas me I like uh, I like to keep diversified as you can see anyway um, Hopefully you found the video uh, useful. Say so there's loads of secondary marketplaces online. Um, I, I don't need to go through them, but obviously if you want to ask a question in the in the comments, I'll uh, I'll answer it. Tell you where you can where you can go if you haven't got a local coin shop. But uh, keep calm and keep stacking. Thanks for watching. Bye.